sawdust and cornbread. In last week's video, I told you how you can make this easy food pantry in less than a day. Today, I'm going to show you how to add an additional broom closet and cleaning supply cabinet in less than a day as well. It's really inexpensive and a piece of cake, so let's get to it. I guess the biggest motivation for this simple broom closet came after completing my easy food pantry in less than a day. I had the perfect small narrow space left for a closet. By putting that area to good use, all I needed to purchase was a small narrow wall cabinet, a single piece of shelf board, and a furring strip. It really doesn't cost much at all. As I mentioned in my easy pantry video, you can always find wall cabinets in the scratch and dent section of your local big box hardware store. That's exactly where I found mine. I removed the cabinet door and shelves and then installed the cabinet box directly to wall studs using long heavy duty wood screws. This created an instant cabinet for all my routine cleaning supplies. For the broom closet, I cut a furring strip in half. These strips only cost a few dollars in the lumber section. I took the two strips and stacked them on top of each other. This formed the left side frame to attach the door to. I attached them to the left side of the wall vertically using extra long wood screws. Next, I measured the width from the edge of the furring strips to my existing pantry cabinets. I had the hardware store cut a shelf board to the correct size. I lightly sanded, primed, and painted the shelf board to match the cleaning supply cabinet door. Lastly, I added simple hinges at the top and bottom of the furring strips, then attached them to the prepared shelf board. This became my door. After adding an inexpensive door pull, I had the perfect hiding place for brooms, mops, dusters, and the like. I found some old ornate doorknob bases that I keep in my stash of hardware downstairs. I also had a metal rod that fits nicely inside the center hole of the doorknob bases. I think the rod came off of an old light fixture. I attached the hardware to each inside surface near the top of my broom closet with the rod in between. This created the perfect spot for hanging long handled cleaning tools. For hooks, I used inexpensive S-hook hangers you can pick up at the hardware store. A couple of my cleaning tools had holes that were difficult to hang quickly on the hooks. To remedy this, I added a clear shower curtain ring to the tools. Now I can quickly hang up and retrieve my cleaning tools. I also added a couple of these plastic bag organizers. It may seem ludicrous to add such an accessory when you can always keep all your loose plastic bags in another plastic bag. I find this method frustrating and somewhat explosive. You pull one bag out and ten come toppling out with it. The plastic bag organizer tames the mess and makes it much easier to retrieve one bag at a time. I added a second one to wrangle up my clean Bona mop pads. Now that my cleaning supplies and equipment have an assigned space, it's much easier and faster to get things tidied up. So adding a broom closet and a cleaning supply cabinet really is a piece of cake. It helps with the organization in the house and keeps your whole family from tripping over brooms, dust mops, and dust pans. Also keeps those four-legged friends happier when things don't fall over and scare them half to death. Okay, I know there was a corn dog in my cabinet last week. I even know that the corn dog sneezed. What I don't understand is how the carrot got in his mouth. For real, I did not put that carrot in his mouth. Go watch it and see and tell me what you think happened in the comments below. Thanks so much for joining me. The channel is really growing. Be sure to like and subscribe and tell all your friends to watch the Sawdust and Cornbread channel. See you next week.